Continue chapter 4 with subtopic 4.3 Inverse of a matrix After this I hope all of you can find inverse by using adjoint matrix 4.3 Inverse matrices The inverse of A is denoted by A power of negative 1 Or we call it as A inverse Remember that A inverse cannot be 1 over A Dia tak sama eh. Ini bukannya 1 over A. Ini bermaksud A inverse. There are two methods to obtain inverse of matrices. We have first adjoint matrix. And second we can use AB equals to KI. And please note that when determinant of matrix equals to 0. So that matrix is a singular. Means that matrix doesn't have inverse. We go to the first method. First method is finding inverse by using adjoint matrix. Okay, formula to find A inverse is A inverse equals to 1 over determinant of A times with adjoint A. ADJ short form for adjoint. Okay, adjoint of matrix A is defined as the transpose of the cofactor matrix. Where ADJ adjoint A ni adalah CT. CT means cofactor transpose. Okay, so to find adjoint, we need to find cofactor and transpose answer for cofactor. We go to the first method, finding inverse by using adjoint matrix. Okay, first example, find the inverse matrix for A. Matrix A in 2 by 2 by using adjoint matrix. Okay, for 2 by 2 only, kita gunakan cara sekolah dulu. Ingat lagi tak? Cara nak cari inverse masa sekolah Ok saya recall balik Given matrix A Is 2, 3, 1 5, 4 Kita nak find A inverse So we use formula for adjoint matrix 1 over determinant of A Times with adjoint A Ok masa sekolah dulu Kawan belajar determinant of A Is A, D Minus BC And adjoint for A Kamu just tukar to 4 D with A And B and C kita put negative okay, Kita hanya tukar to 4 je Okay ni cara sekolah dulu Okay Then kita start masuk Value for A D B and C Value for A 3 D is 4 B 1 And C 5 Kita times with D and A kita change tempat dia So 4, 3 B and C kita put negative So negative 1, negative 5 Then we solve we get 12 minus 5 So we get 7 4, negative 1, negative 5, 3 Okay Untuk answer for, matri for matrices Untuk cari inverse Kita tak boleh biar macam ni eh Kita darab masuk Okay, so equals to, kita expand 4 over 7, negative 1 over 7, negative 5 over 7, and last 3 over 7. Okay, this one answer for A inverse. We go question number 2, find the inverse matrix of B, B in 3 by 3. By using adjoint matrix Ok, untuk cari B inverse Menggunakan adjoint matrix untuk 3 by 3 Lain formula dengan 2 by 2 Dia sama formula tapi caranya lain So, tengok betul-betul okay, Now, we find B inverse We use same formula So, 1 over determinant for B Times with adjoint B Ok Now, first step we find determinant for B Still remember how to find determinant We choose any one row or any one column Tips dia pilih yang ada 0 Okay now I choose first column Okay before that We take out the sign for cofactor Okay Then we take out the numbers So 1 0 Negative 2 Okay then we put the sign for first column 
So plus minus plus Okay Then We take the minor We close number 1 We close number 1 so we get 2 2 Negative 1 0 We close 0 And we get 3 2 Negative 1 0 And we close number negative 2 We get 3 2 2 2 then we solve Solve minor So we use AD minus BC okay, So Direct 0 Minus Negative 2 This one always 0 Minus 2 6 minus 4 So we get 2 Minus 2 Times 2 So 2 minus 4 we get negative Okay, now next step We find adjoint B How to find adjoint B? Adjoint B is cofactor transpose Means we, we must find cofactor first To find cofactor We open big bracket And put the sign for cofactor Plus Minor Minus Plus, minus, plus This one for minor This bracket for minor okay. Plus, minus, plus, minus Plus, minus Plus, minus, plus Okay, cofactor is combination of sine and minor So, this bracket for minor Okay, so now We must close each number Okay now number 1 we close For the first one we close number 1 So we get 2 2 negative 1 0 We close number 3 0 2 Negative 2 0 We close number 2 0 2 negative 2 negative 1 We close 0 3 2 Negative 1 0 We close number 2 1 2 Negative 2, 0 We close number 2 Then we get 1, 3 Negative 2, negative 1 And last row We close number negative 2 3, 2 2, 2 We close number negative 1 1, 2, 0, 2 And last number 0 We close 1, 3, 0, 2 Then put transpose Okay then we solve Solve the cofactor This one minor So we use AD minus BC So first 0 Minus negative 2 Okay next Negative 0 Minus negative 4 And next 0 Minus negative 4 Okay, next Negative 0 Minus negative 2 Okay, this one 0 Minus negative 4 And next negative Negative 1 Minus negative 6 Okay, then 6 minus 4 then 2 minus 0 This one negative And last 2 minus 0 So we close the bracket And don't forget transpose okay, Then we solve again So we get 2 0 plus 2 is 2 Negative 4 4 Negative 2 4 Negative 1 plus 6 5 So negative 5 2 Negative 2 And last is 2 okay. Don't forget to transpose So we get answer CT Cofactor transpose is 2 negative 4 4 From row to column Row to column and last row to column 
Okay. This one answer for adjoint B. Adjoint B is cofactor transpose. Okay. We want to find B inverse. So, tak habis lagi. Kita nak cari B inverse. Kita start balik. 1 over determinant for B. Determinant for B and adjoint B. Okay. Determinant for B, we find 1 over negative 2. Adjoint B, our cofactor transpose. So, 2 negative 2. 2 negative 4. 4 negative 2. 4, negative 5 and last 2 ok, don't forget to expand kita darab masuk so final answer we get negative 1 1, negative 1 2, negative 2 1 negative 2 5 over 2 and last, negative 1 ok, this one answer for B inverse Okay, we continue question number 3. Find the inverse matrix of C. This one, 3 by 3. By using adjoint matrix. Okay, untuk bagi kamu lagi terror. Kita buat lagi. Soalan inverse untuk 3 by 3 by using adjoint matrix. Okay, C inverse. Formula for C inverse. 1 over determinant for C times with adjoint C. Okay, first step we find determinant of C. Determinant is choose any one row or any one column yang kamu rasa nak pilih. Yang kamu rasa nombor dia senang. Ha, pilihlah mana-mana. Okay, saya pilih last row. Last row, this one. So, don't forget the sign. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So, the last row is 1, 1, 3. So, put 1, 1, 3. And the sign, plus, minus, plus. Okay, don't forget the minus. Okay, first we close number 1. 1 this one. So, we get 2, 3, 2, 4. We close number 1. So, we get 1, 3, 3, 4. And last, we close number 3. 1, 2, 3, 2. Then we solve. This one is minor. So, we use AD minus BC. So, 8. Minus 6 Minus 4 Minus 9 Plus 3 times with 2 Minus 6 So we get 2 Minus Negative 5 Plus 3 times Negative 4 So equals to 2 plus 5 7 7 minus 12 Negative 5 So our determinant is Negative 5 Okay, now we continue find adjoint C. Okay, adjoint C is C transpose. Co-factor transpose. CT. Okay, to find co-factor, we open big bracket. We put the sign with minor. So, plus minor, minus, minor, plus, minor, minus, minor, plus, minor, Minus, minor, plus with minor, minus with minor, and plus with minor. Then we close bracket. We put transpose. Okay. Now, we must, clo we must close each number. So, close number 1, 2, 4, 1, 3. We close number 2, 3, 4, 1, 3. We close number 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1. We close number 3, 2, 3, 1, 3. We close number 2, 1, 3, 1, 3. We close number 4, 1, 2, 1, 1. We close number 1, 2, 3, 2, 4. We close number 1, 1, 3, 3, 4. And last, we close number 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. Okay. Then, we solve. So, we get AD minus BC. So, 6 minus 4. First one. Second negative. 9 minus 4. Then, 3 minus 2. Negative. 6 minus 3. 3 minus 3. 
negative 1 minus 2 8 minus 6 negative 4 minus 9 and last 2 minus 6 okay, we close the bracket and don't forget to put transpose then we solve again we get 2 negative 5 1 negative 3 0 1 2 5 negative 4 ok then we transpose the answer so we get from row to column or row or column to row mana-mana pun boleh ok so 2 negative 5 1 negative 3 0 1 2 5 negative 4 so this one answer for cofactor transpose this one answer for adjoint C ok now we want to find C inverse so 1 over determinant for C times with adjoint C so, determinant for C is negative 5 and our adjoint is 2, negative 3, 2, negative 5, 0, 5, 1, 1, negative 4. Don't forget to expand untuk darab masuk balik. So, negative 2 over 5, 3 over 5, negative 2 over 5, 1, 0, negative 1 negative 1 over 5 negative 1 over 5 and last 4 over 5 okay, so this one answer for C inverse so we finish all the example uh, in first method finding inverse by using adjoint matrix okay. this question for your exercise if you have any problem, you can ask your lecturer. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.